morning, everybody. It's your old buddy Jim. East Tennessee Preparedness checking in. Hope everybody's doing good this morning. Another day off from work, so I do this on my off days and every now and then at work too. I try to walk 30, 45 minutes. About the most uh, exercise I get. It's working. I've dropped some weight. My doctor was proud of me when I went for my doctor visit last week. So I think I'd shed since my last visit around 15, 20 pounds, somewhere in there. So I need to add some push ups and stuff to the workout routine, but evidently that hadn't happened yet. So hopefully soon. But that's one aspect of prepping that a lot of people overlook because something bad were to happen say EMP or something it's gonna set you back to where you're doing a whole lot more physical labor and just working in the garden for a couple hours yesterday if it was that long I can feel it so I know I look good but I am getting older so I'm closer to the finish line than I am the start line but it's good to to do a little bit now I should throw on a rucksack or my big go bag and walking around with me that'd be even better but this is good enough for now uh, lots of things going on lots of information coming out about uh, Adolph Trudeau up in Canada freezing bank accounts I saw reports where the ATMs were down so I guess if you have the wrong thinking, as he said, the wrong belief system, then he's going to punish you for a peaceful protest. But now, if you're one of his chosen groups of protesters, like they have here in this country a couple of years ago, you can riot and burn down cities and destroy property, and, but it's mainly peaceful protest and nothing will be done. They'll even set up a fund uh, that uh, our current vice president will help bail you out of jail so double standards but if they didn't have double standards they wouldn't have any at all evidently sounds like a big truck coming up the hill yeah they're doing some construction work a couple of streets though i heard it was houses but it's looking to me like they're making low-income apartments mm. No oh, well, but uh, still a nice day. I've got the heat pump off. It's about already almost 60 degrees. I think it's supposed to be 70 today. So try to do a little more stuff in the garden and take care of some other chores. I need to crank my generator up and let it run for a while. Nothing major, but it won't be long till we're planting them gardens, and I hope. It does a little better than it did last year. Last year was, I've been doing it for a few years now. Last year was a huge letdown. Like I say, I'm learning as I go too. We always had gardens when I was a young, a kid and a teenager. But if you don't do stuff for years and years and years, you, you forget a lot of what you used to know. Like chickens, we had chickens. And a fella I've subscribed to has got a hog killing video. I remember when I was a, Little kid, probably six, seven, eight, nine years old. My uncles always used to meet at my mama's farm and first real cold Saturday in the fall, that's when they they butchered the hogs and stuff and I couldn't help a whole lot, but I'd bring them coffee and stuff like that. But could I do that now? Maybe. Remember mom used to bring chicken necks. And if you don't know what that means, she'd get an old hen out of the backyard, grab it by its head, twirl it around like that, and snap it. And separate the head from the chicken. It'd run around like crazy for a minute or two, and then we'd have fried chicken. I guess that's where the term running around like a chicken with your head cut off came from. But lots of stuff still going on. Uh, a lot of people still think that Russia is going to invade Ukraine. A lot of people know. I don't know. I don't have privy to that information. 
but it's still something worth keeping your eye on. There for a while I thought it was going to happen, but I don't know. But you say, why should you pay attention to it? Well, that is going to affect us. Gas prices, more strain on the supply chain. So inflation's running wild. So just puts more stress on the average everyday working man. I mean, it's already, if you've got a long commute to work, I feel for you. And I don't like paying higher gas prices. There's no sense we were. It's all man-made and it's all on purpose to squeeze out the middle class. I think they want uh, two classes of people here now. Have the elites and you have the rest of us. Just like being a serf in feudal times. Excuse me, I know that's nasty. But one bad habit I've never been able to kick. Been doing it since I was nine years old. But that's what's going on here today. Getting ready to go out and take care of a few errands and I neglected yesterday when I went out. If I don't write stuff down, I can't remember. My CRS disease is, is getting worse. And if you don't know what that is, it's can't remember squat. So everybody take care. Have a great day. Uh, if you got questions <coughs> for me and you don't want to leave in the comment on my about thing on the channel I listed my email so don't feel bad I don't check it that often about two or three times a week so but leave a comment I still answer every comment so I appreciate y'all for tuning in to my high-tech videos y'all have a great day a blessed day stay safe keep on prepping and I can't say what I want to say, but from the bottom of my heart, Lima Golf Bravo. Foxtrot Juliet Bravo. Take care, folks.